it's Natalie here. If you guys are new to my channel, I post a lot of vlogs. I do a lot of lifestyle content, talk about finance, talk about business, motivation, all of that good stuff. So if you guys want and like this video, you guys can definitely be sure to subscribe to get more of that type of content. So today I have someone coming in to build a new bed frame for me because the bed that I currently have broke. So it's kind of a funny story. When I was assembling the bed, there's like three legs at the bottom in the middle of the bed um, because I do have a platform bed and it's just like a metal bed and I, the middle piece the middle leg was not there and I just thought like whatever like it's supported on all the other sides um it's fine and this is probably why I also um had to retake physics because I don't understand <laughs> support I guess <laughs> But because it was the middle part that was um, not as supported, it kind of like fell through like this. So now the left side of my bed is um, broken. So I'm gonna show you guys. So as you guys can see, this part of my bed is broken. Um, it's very, very, very broken. I did not realize that until I was like, okay, I'm why my bed feels crooked. Like my bed literally felt like I was sleeping like this. So I decided to check it out and I took my mattress off and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so broken. This looks like it's about to fall through. And then the, the middle bar underneath looks like it's like at a swoop like this too. So it's going to like fall through the middle. It's like very, very unsupported. And then I, if you guys remember me always complaining that, that my bed always slid and it always moved. So I got these little like pad things if you guys can see these things i would put underneath my bed so that it would stop it from slipping they're like anti-slip and that like kind of helped but the real reason why it was slipping is because this leg right here look at it it's completely crooked and when keon was over he actually tried fixing it um but it's stuck and it won't come out like the screw is stuck so it is just completely like shifted so that's why the bed keeps moving so i have been sleeping on a very unsupported bed for a very long time so i called wayfair which is where i got the bed from and they're sending me a new one because it's i mean it kind of is my fault for like probably assembling it wrong but they didn't bring me the middle leg so i just thought i could go without it which is kind of dumb of me looking at it but i'm glad that they're sending me a new bed and they're having someone come and actually assemble it for me which is nice but i have to get all of this out of my room so that he can assemble it here so i'm gonna be emptying out the bottom of my bed i want to clean my room just so that it's like a nice easy clean space for him to work in um but yeah that's what i'm doing right now and also my laundry is coming so i'm going to be taking the sheets off my bed and doing my laundry and having them pick it up so that i have like the least amount of things in my room as possible I am about to go to the gym. My room is empty. It looks like I am moving out right now. All my stuff is in the living room. Mattress is right here on the wall, but I'm about to go to the gym right before the guy comes to take the bed. So I'm gonna show you guys my gym outfit. Okay guys, uh, ignore the lights from the curtain, but here is what I'm wearing to the gym. This is actually from a subscriber of mine. So she does like thrifting in New York City and found these brand new Athleta leggings and she sent them to me and Athleta leggings are very expensive. These were brand new. They fit so perfectly. They look like they've, I mean, they've never been worn. Um, which is really cool. She finds a lot of things like with the tags on it too, which I really like. She also sent me these three pairs of jeans, which are really great brands. This one is, uh, let's see, like see, they still have the tags on it. Levi's, then they have Cult of Individuality, and what are these? J brand. These are all super expensive, and she finds them in the city, which New York City thrifting obviously is a lot better than a lot of other cities just because of the amount of stuff that there is so if you guys want she ships everywhere so i'll have her link down below but caught these leggings from her but they are athleta this is a super dry sports bra nike shoes and now i'm headed to the gym
Let's see how full this is. All right, guys, so it's a little bit later. I got back from the gym, and then Pernea and I actually tore down my old bed and her old bed and literally spent like 30 minutes taking down our old beds to the trash because we had to like disassemble them and then we put them in a box and the box was really heavy and then we had all this metal these metal parts and we had to take them downstairs and it was just a huge giant mess so because my bed was broken it's like not eligible to be donated and we just got rid of it so i'm very happy that it's all out of here now if you guys had ever noticed that there was like a black thing on this wall um that was pernea's bed that was there for like a month and we also had her like a box in the corner so now our apartment just looks so much bigger so we're gonna try actually decorating our place we've been here for like four months now and still haven't decorated it so that is our next um i guess like thing that we want to do is decorate our apartment i need to get some like pictures above the couch i think that would be really pretty to have some artwork there and then i'm just waiting on my laundry to get in so that i can like do my bed and stuff um but we have made a lot of progress and I'm very proud of us but right now i am doing some work it's 12 no it's 1 1 15 and i have a consultation at 2 but in the meantime i'm just doing some work i have a video that is due today that i have to edit so i'm going to try to get that done before the consultation and wish me luck because I just feel like I have a lot to do and very, 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 very little motivation. So that's always good. I have a consultation that I'm doing right now. So basically how I do it is I use the software called Zoom and I have all my meetings on here. Anytime you book an appointment with me, you automatically see, um, get an invite with like a Zoom link to attend. So I don't have to do any of that. Like through Squarespace, I have a software called Acuity and then through Acuity, it's linked to Zoom so that it's all in one place and it's all automated. So it's there's no like emails going back and forth and it's really, really seamless. And then I have the Google Drive right here um, where I have all of the notes. This is someone that I have been working with for some time. I upload the Zoom calls because um, I record them. I upload the outline of each time and I like having a dual screen so I can like type while I am also speaking to her. So let's get this consultation going. Okay guys, I am headed out. So this is what I'm wearing, wearing this Union hat. This is Keon's, he went to Union College. If any of you guys are from there, let me know because it's a really small school, so that'd be insane. Um, the scarf, my big puffy jacket, Lululemon sweatpants, and then my Nike shoes because it is very cold outside. I'm meeting Emma and Shelly um, to do some work at the wing. So I'm going to the Flatiron location and I'm just gonna walk there get some work done and they are forcing me to get out of the house and actually be productive because I was complaining that I feel very lazy and I think it's because I need to maybe get out of the house more so whenever it's cold outside I'd like to just stay in but it's good to be reminded to actually go out and do work also I pay for a monthly membership at the wing so I better use it because in December I was gone like the entire time for the holidays so I didn't get any use out of it so I'm not gonna let that happen again in January but very casual outfit not wearing any makeup today Still feeling a little sick, but it's okay. It's all gonna be good. to a hot yoga class but we are just getting some work done and it's always nice working with friends because they motivate you to actually like get your stuff done and it's just nice being in this type of environment but I just ate a snack here stayed here for about three hours and I'm gonna head back soon I'm still not feeling the best which kind of sucks but hopefully I'm not getting sick hopefully I overcome it and tomorrow will be better but it is so cold outside, so I'm really not looking forward to walking back home. That's nice. I'm not, it's, oh yeah, yeah, I walk home later. Yeah. So have my nice hat and ready to walk back. Just got home and I'm about to make dinner. 
This video is sponsored by Green Chef, so thank you so much to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I've worked with them so many times in the past and they literally saved me because this week I had zero groceries, so my lunch and dinners are covered because I got get like the two portion size, but because it's just me, I just save half of it for the next day. So two of my meals are covered, which is so nice. They also have like family style if you're a family of four or you want to split it with your roommate. It really is like such a great deal, but I am actually doing the vegan one because I have been wanting to incorporate more plant-based meals into my diet, but I never really know what to eat when I'm eating plant-based. So it makes it really easy because it's always like really, really good creative meals. Like this is a Tuscan white bean soup and it has like bread with basil and garlic pesto, which I would just like never make on my own. So having it all here for me in the correct portion size with the ingredients, it has like pictures of how to make it and just it's so, so easy. It has all like the nutrition info on here, how much time it's going to take. Um, and they're just really, really easy. So I already made one earlier this week. And today I'm making the white bean soup because again, I am feeling a little sick and soup always makes me feel so much better. So I just preheated the oven and now I'm about to do all the other steps for this. And I'm excited because soups, soup is one of my favorite meals and this one looks so good. Green Chef is my favorite way to cook dinner. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company and meals include paleo, plant powered, vegan and vegetarian, keto, balanced living, and family. With Green Chef, it's so easy to eat in and not go out to eat because they do the grocery shopping and preparing for you and they just drop it off at your door. And then you can trust that they have clean ingredients and they're seasonal, so they're actually fresh. And you guys, I have an amazing coupon code for you guys. It's $80 off, so that is so much money. So for a total of $80 off plus free shipping go to greenchef.us slash nataliebarbu80 and click get started okay guys this is my dinner it literally smells and looks so freaking good so it's this bean soup put some radishes on top and then I had this like olive oil pesto garlic um, piece of toast with that spread on it and it just smells so freaking good. I'm going to give Pranaya the other slice of bread because I'm not going to save that. But I still have some of the soup to save. And oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try this. I'm going to do a live taste test for you guys. Mm, hot. Oh my god. That is so good. It tastes so fresh. Wow. I love soup. This is so good. Let me try the bread. Whatever that spread is, is delicious. Okay, guys, Pranaya is the best roommate and got me a bacon. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. <laughs> a bacon, egg, and cheese. Thank you. I'm not feeling too hot right now. I woke up and like my voice was gone, but now it's getting a lot better. I drank some tea and we got this at the deli. I just made myself a cup of coffee, got ready for the day, and I actually took some Instagram pictures because I'm actually doing a brand deal with ThreadUp, which is where the shirt is from that I'm wearing. Um, but I'm taking some Instagrams for them and also some stories. So I like showing you guys kind of the behind the scenes of brand deals. So basically how I like to do this one specifically is they sent me a brief, which is kind of just a PDF with everything that they want me to either say or the inspiration behind the photo so i was just looking at like the stories that they wanted so for example they said that they wanted four to five clips total um the first video clip just to introduce the quiz there's like this fashion footprint quiz the second clip to explain my results so it's not scripted or anything but they have like a guideline of what they want me to do and i really like sharing the behind the scenes with you guys because i feel like you guys really like that and it's something interesting that you might not really realize like the i guess background of sponsored posts so that's what i just did i took some pictures they wanted me to take a mirror pic with like a post-it note um that says how dirty is your closet since it is like a sustainable secondhand thrift shop so i just did that took some pictures and now i am about to sit down on the couch edit the stories edit the photos and then send them over to my manager so that she can send them over to the brand but if you guys like this type of behind the scenes um, I guess like the background of like brand deals and stuff like that then let me know because I can definitely do more of them I am walking to get lunch with Chloe. I'm so excited. I haven't seen her 
I've only met her once actually and it was like at Coachella really randomly but we've been following each other forever so we're finally getting lunch at the butcher's daughter I'm excited I haven't been to this place I think I went to one in LA if it's the same place but haven't been to it in New York so I'm glad I'm seeing her and it's also just such a nice day outside in the city today like it is beautiful it's not that cold so nice so tomorrow's gonna be even nicer it's gonna be like 65 degrees which is feels like spring or summer which is actually insane that January in New York City it's gonna be 65 degrees but you know what I'm not complaining because it has been semi-cold here really good and then I got this quesadilla the pesto quesadilla and then this like immunity healthy tea for my throat and then she got like a really good looking chai tea latte yeah that looks so good Ugh. what's up guys it's a little bit later I don't know the last time I vlogged but I am sick so right now I have a setup. It's only it's not only eight o'clock. I'm not doing anything the rest of the day. I had my Green Chef meal from yesterday. Heated that up. Ate that for dinner. Um, but it hurts for me to speak, so I'm trying to speak quietly. But it really hurts for me to speak. I actually had to cancel my first consultation ever. So like I canceled a consultation for the first time today because I couldn't really speak at all. And I was like, okay, most times on my consultations, I'm the one talking a lot. So I felt so bad, but I had to cancel because I just felt like miserable and I was like, I cannot do this, you know, and oh, I just feel so bad. But right now I am drinking my tea. I have lemon and honey lavender in a tea and then I have my diffuser going. I took an oil of oregano supplement and this like, my mom gave these to me. What is this? Black seed oil. My mom is super into like vitamins and supplements. So she told me to take that until I get better um, and I'm just gonna sit here I'm watching a video about lifting weights about this girl that like lifted weights and her journey with it and then I'm also going to read after I drink my tea this book the defining decade it's so good I started it yesterday and I posted it on my story and so many of you guys reposted it but it's just a really really great book and if you guys are in your 20s or about to graduate college I highly recommend you guys reading this book it's just talking about like why your 20s matter and how like we should start doing things and being proactive now at least that's what I'm getting from it, even though I'm only a few chapters in. I'm sorry if it's so quiet and you guys can't hear me. I'm just really trying not to speak too loudly. But anyways, I'm about to just enjoy... Actually, I probably won't enjoy my night, but I'm about to spend the night and <laughs> have an early night. Probably going to take some melatonin or some CBD oil and fall asleep early so that I can just have like a nice night's sleep. Hey everyone, it is the next morning. I feel like garbage. So I woke up like every two hours last night. Um because I was really congested and I was coughing all night and then this morning I am just so tired and I feel so congested and sick so I drank um, my green juice, I drank a chamomile tea with honey, I drank a turmeric latte, uh, I took my supplements so I'm just trying everything. I have drank so much water like I have, I don't have a hydro flask but I have something that looks like a hydro flask and it's like the same size as one and I've already had four of those and it's um only 11.52 or 11.25 sorry I read that backwards it's 11.25 um so I've drank so much water I've gone pee like every five minutes but I need to get out of the house also it is such a nice day in New York today it's like 65 degrees which is crazy because it's January and I need medicine I don't have any medicine I was looking through my medicine drawer and it was my same like medicine thing that I've had since um college like literally since freshman year of college which is a very long time so absolutely everything in that medicine cabinet was expired so i just threw everything out and i'm gonna go to cvs right now grab some medicine 
and hopefully feel better soon. So I really need to get one of those like 12 hour decongestant things. I think that's gonna help me a lot. So I'm gonna do that and then hopefully start feeling better. I feel like I look like a police officer with this like Ray-Bans and the hat, like I'm undercover police officer. Do I look like that? <laughs> I don't know if I should wear it. I just look so bad. I also really wanna get an acai bowl because I'm, I'm not hungry, but I'm like craving an acai bowl soon. So I think I'm gonna go there. Also gonna get like a wellness shot. I'm trying everything guys. Like I, this is what happens. I should be more proactive and do these things before to like strengthen my immune system. But like the second it's down, I'm like, give me everything. Give me all the supplements, all the juices, absolutely everything. So I think I'm gonna stop by like a press juicery also and get a wellness shot, uh, something like that. So wish me luck guys. Hopefully I feel better soon. Okay, so I ordered this immunity shot with this orange peel as a chaser, which I think is really cute that it comes with that. And then I also saved this for later. It's the cure. So hopefully I'm going to become healthy after this. But I also have an acai bowl coming up. So, yum. These always scare me, though. That is a fat shot. Figured I would give you guys an update. I bought this at CBS, this Mucidex for pressure, pain, and cough. Zycam cold remedy medicated fruit drops and then elderberry. So that is what I've been taking. I took like a two hour nap. Actually not two hours, probably like one hour nap. And now I just went to Brodo, which is like a broth place here in the city. You can also order online, but broth is supposedly amazing for colds. And this is like a really, really healthy one. Um, it's like a really fancy broth. So got that. I'm still chugging my water. I've gone pee like 30 times today. Um, there's like garlic, ginger, turmeric, lemon in this broth. So it's like really, really healthy. And I'm just sipping on it. And I got it actually for free from the Intu app. So thank you to them. Um, but yeah, hopefully I will be healed.